morning welcome back to daily vlogs it is monday the 24th of october we are in the second week of our halloween spin along hope you're enjoying your spinning i keep forgetting to put the hashtag on the screen so hopefully if i say it i'll remind editing liz to do it later so yeah hashtag here and obviously all links are in the description box as always so it's Monday, the start of another week, and um, I had a lovely weekend. Yesterday was all um, black and white movies and falling asleep on the sofa. Absolute heaven. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty perfect weekend. But there is a little bit of work to do, be done this morning before mum comes over, then it's food shopping. And um, I usually have Monday as a bit of a tidying day. So I've already run the hoover around, so there's not that much to do easy day um i'm hoping to get a bit more spinning done this afternoon um but yeah i'm hoping to finish my crochet shawl today which is a project for a magazine i work for and um, i've nearly finished my mitre square blanket i've only got one and a half squares to do i work on it every morning it's the first thing i do um, and i always do like one or two squares every morning before i do anything else it's I have my morning cup of tea and i work on my mitre square blanket and this one I'm making is for mum, it's meant to be her Christmas present, well it is a Christmas present but she's going to get it before because it's nearly finished um, so I've got one and a half squares to do and then I've just got the border to do so I want to get that on the floor to sort of see what it looks like so I'll take some pictures of that as well but yeah, um, but then the exciting thing is that I need to decide on what blanket I'm working on next now I... Every year I always think, oh, I'll do something different, I won't do a mitered square blanket. But I miss my mitered square blanket too much and um, end up casting on another one. Um, so I probably am going to do a mitered square blanket, but I'm thinking I might do a DK one. So it's really nice and warm and cosy for downstairs. But I don't have a lot of DK scraps, so I'm thinking blocks that are colours. Of like drops yarn and stuff like that that I have and then blocks that are hand dyed sort of alternating i think that might be really nice so i'd quite like at some point today to sort of gather together supplies to start that because hopefully i could start that tomorrow Ooh. oh and i haven't touched the mcal yet i haven't even started clue three and um i'm not missing it so i will get to it at some point this week but i'm not going to force it anyway i'll see you Anyway, the cats have started to have a barney, so um, I'll see you in a moment. Anyone got any ideas what I could do with this hand spun? I wound it up for the spinning tutorial video that I've just finished. Um, and I thought it was stripes, but it's not. It's a gradient. And it's really bright. Um, really bright. And it's kind of a rainbow gradient. So... I personally wouldn't wear this as a hat, it's a bit too bright for me. But it would make quite cool colour work in like a cowl or something. Can you leave me a comment if you've got any ideas what you think I should do with it? I don't have a lot, it's about a sport weight and um, it's probably about 250 yards, maybe 300 yards. And yeah, it starts at purple and finishes at purple, and there's a lot of orange in it. So yeah, if you have any ideas, leave me a comment, because I've wound it up, so I feel like I have to use it. Like, now. But I don't know what to knit with it.
Silly boy. We've come to bed without saying good night. Jack's his favourite time of day.
So yeah, we'll say good night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Say good night, Jax.